Hello everybody, my name is Coolblue and I'm bringing you all this video of me talking about a board game. This is going to be in the small box big game series. Uh, today we have a small box and a quite big game. Actually kind of kind of small game, almost like a small box small game. Uh, this game is called Gentle Rain. Uh, it's a game that I, I, I mean I guess there's review videos of it out there. But it's a very, 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 very simple tile laying game. Uh, and I use the word very a billion times because it is very simple. Um, definitely one of those games that you can kind of put on a coffee table and just kind of play while sitting uh, at your, enjoying your coffee table. Not really many rules for this game, uh, so much so that I'm, I'm considering doing a review slash playthrough at the same time. So this, this video will be my playthrough slash review of the game. Um, <laughs> so I can talk about the game while I play it. Uh, I will zoom out because this game does take up a little bit of space. It's not too much space, but essentially the goal of the game is it's a full co-op game. And in this game, you are trying to place as many pieces as you can. There is no losing in this game, which I find is fun. Uh, but the maximum points, I think the max points you can get is 20, 21. The max score you can get is, yeah, the max score you can get is 21, which is very like unlikely. That means that you got everything laid perfectly. You got everything placed perfectly. Um, but in-game scoring for this game is basically uh, throughout tile placement, you'll be placing tiles. Just let me clarify it with how you play first. Um, when you play the game, you're placing out tiles. And when you place tiles and complete a set of four, so these are the tiles here. We complete a set of four uh, with pieces. So when you complete a full set of four, uh, as in you have four tiles kind of placed and there's a circle in the middle, uh, then you'll choose one of the flowers here so let me see if I can make an example work out for us, because this game is a bit on the challenging side as far as finding exactly what you're looking for. Um, haha, we got one. So if you have yourself a matchup, or if you have yourself a lineup like this, so once you place your tile and you have a circle in the middle, then you get to choose one of these flowers to place. Now there's eight flowers, and you're trying to do this eight times. So let's say I want to choose, and you choose from one of the four that's available. So I'm going to put that one there. And once I do, then we keep playing the game. Um, eventually you get to a point to where you might not have the piece. So let's say I had already somehow placed uh, throughout the game, I had placed these flowers that are, that are uh, selectable here. So let's say I placed these in the board already because we placed those already somewhere else. And then when this comes up, then I would not be able to place it because I only have these pieces available. So it kind of plays out like that. But essentially you score points for every flower that you've placed out like this. And then you score one point for every tile that you have remaining at the end of the game. Um, and that's pretty much how the game works as far as scoring goes. The max points you can get from this game, as I mentioned before, before is 21. And that's if you place everything perfectly and everything went perf or everything went exquisitely well for you. Um, congratulations, you've done math. Uh, the game is uh, basically, eh, it's, 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 it's a conversation game. Let me, let me just say it that way. There's, 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 there's not, it's not a ton of game here, which is why I said, well, small box, big game is like, eh, big, it's a little bit of a push. Uh, it is fun because it is so casual that you can kind of play it while talking. And like I said, I'm going to, I'm going to continue doing my review while playing the game. So I'm just shuffling the tiles here and uh, I will go ahead and zoom out so we can have enough space. There we go. There we go. So now we got space and Oh, there we go. Sorry, for the words. Perfect. Uh, I do want to take a moment to read this little rule book because this game is all about meditation and kind of relaxing. So it says, uh, you have come to the lake. Take a deep breath and relax. Hoping to see, uh, is that it? Oh, wait, hoping to see Get comfortable, now begin, keep going, keep growing, keep blossoming, until it ends, bring a friend. Cool. There, there's words at the on the rule sheet, this is the rule sheet, it's like it's like a little pamphlet. Okay, cool. Alright, so continuing on with the review, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with my first tile. Uh, this game, as a game, is, like I said, one that's not very gamery, and it is one that is very uh, luck-based. Uh, I'm not a fan of the randomness of the luck. Um, but if you go into this game understanding that you're not going to get the maximum score, this game becomes much less stressful and much more relaxing uh, because you can literally just kind of play it while doing things like doing a video review of a board game. 
and when you when you get around to situations to where you can kind of place tiles it does become a little bit on the brain burnery side because there's situations like this where people are kind of constantly looking and you know saying ah oh, if that was changed it'll be this it'll be that um, the same situation that you get in games like uh, Apples to Apples or other similar games like that. So it's was like, man, if I just had that two turns ago, that would have been great. It's like, no, it wouldn't have. It's just, <laughs> it's random. It's so random that it's like, it's, you might as well not even worry about it. Uh, and also, this game does have a little bit of frustration angle to it too, since it's cooperative. Because sometimes you're playing and you see a thing that might work for a cooperative player. But, you know, this is a very casual conversational game. But the gamer in me wants to tell him, no, it's awesome if you put it here instead of there. So you might have situations where somebody might do this because they think it's a good idea. But unfortunately in this game, you never have situations to where a tile has two placements like this. So this becomes a dead spot. So you can't put anything in there. So that's a little bit frustrating. Uh, but it does depend on your group. Like I said, it's not that serious of a game. It's not like you're trying to play to get the maximum score. Um, I, I tend to play the game this way to where I end up branching a lot. And that causes um, some strife and turmoil uh, in situations to where you know, we just kind of forever go with combinations. You can try to count the tiles. I don't know what the actual tile count is, but it does, uh, th there does exist a universe where you can know exactly how many combinations of how many things it, uh, are there. But like I said, I, I don't know how worth your time it is to do all that because the game is so simple and basic and casual that it's, it's, it's almost nonsensical to put that much effort into it. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, just kind of take a tile, place it, see, see what happens. And if we win, we win. And by win, I mean if we get 21 points, we get 21 points. But it's very unlikely. Uh, if that's your only goal with this game, then you're not going to have uh, the most greatest of times because this game doesn't really have much luck mitigation. Uh, so so kind of like if you're playing like a dice roller game to where you just have to deal with the dice, this is very much that game. Like we had two situations like this in a row to where I had that happen, which is unfortunate. Uh, but it does happen. And I will complain about it. Oh, look, that works. Haha, -ha, we got a match. And of course, everybody, it's, it's always fun to watch this game when people play it because everybody's eyes kind of lights up. It's like, ah, I got a match. And everybody's like, ooh, ooh, cool. And everybody gets excited and you kind of sit around the table trying to figure out which one to put. Of course, the person who plays the tile gets to place it. Um, but the way I like to make that decision is I kind of look at the board and say, okay, there's two purples completed. There's one white completed. There's a bunch of white spaces available. So maybe purple, since it's kind of already kind of completed. Um, red is available. That's the way I like to look at it. There's some times where somebody might choose one that's not the one I would have chosen. But like I said, it's it's their piece. They're they're playing their part of the game. Let them make their decisions. Ooh, look, another one. Nice. Uh, so yeah, so it's, it's very casual, very straightforward, very simple. Um, I've played this game at restaurants. Uh, well, <laughs> to clarify, I play board games at restaurants all the time. Um, but I've definitely got convinced people to play this game at restaurants. Um, at the end of board game nights, this is a great end of game or end of game night uh, board game to throw on the table. Play like maybe two or three rounds of it while everybody's talking about the uh, the night that they had. Talking about the fun that they had playing certain games. Let the meta game kind of kick in where somebody's like, haha, Kenny, I knew you would do that or something like that. Uh, if you had a friend named Kenny, of course. And uh, just kind of enjoy yourself. Just kind of sit back, relax, and as the game says, Take a deep breath and relax. Like like I said there, take a deep breath and relax. Also, the artwork is very in unoffensive. In inoffensive? I think that's the way it, I think that's the word. Un unoffensive? I don't know if that's the word. Um, to where you just kinda look at the game and it's very there. It's just I mean it's 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 almost like you could you can put this on like this is some fabric you might find on somebody's somebody's couch. <laughs> like <laughs> I don't know if that's probably not the best of analogies to use in the world, but it is one that I will go with at this point as we go into this uh, free expression of speaking or free thought form, whatever the proper words are for that. Um, so yeah, so yeah, placing tiles, like I said, very casual, very straightforward, which is why I'm doing the playthrough and review at the same time. So I guess I'll just mark this as the review. Um, and it's not too much to too much else to say outside of here's me playing the game. Um, oh, I have had situations to where somebody was or people might get a little bit more invested in the game than I feel is necessary. So for instance, somebody might get upset when they see this happen. As I say, ah, why would you do that? Ah, cool blue, you can't do that, ah. And it's like, okay, first of all, this is a very casual, straightforward game. Not that serious. Second of all, yes, this is very inconvenient because now I gotta find a piece that matches three sides instead of just two. Um, I would prefer not to do that myself, but if people have done it, and at that time you just kind of take, you know, just kind of roll with it. It's kind of, as the game says, Take a deep breath and relax. 
<laughs> because, I mean, you, usually if you're at the end of a board game night, you know, nobody's going to be like that at your throat about it, so to speak. There's going to be just like, ah, eh, I guess it happened, whatever, move on. Uh, this, this is just a very simple, straightforward, uh, not very offensive board game. Uh, let me see, let me do that. Get some stuff going over there. And eventually you'll find a match. And when you do, like I said, that 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 feeling is kind of there's a feeling like that. It's I think it's related to Tetris, when you have a piece that fits perfectly into a spot that you were trying to plan for. There's like a it's like a word uh, a word associated with that. Um, I don't know, getting kind of lost on the whole word association thing. Uh, but yeah, um, not really much else to talk about. I mean, the game is fun. The game is enjoyable. Um, I I think I paid twenty five dollars for this game or so. Um, I do think it's a little bit steep of a price for the amount of game, game with air quotes, that you get in this. Um, but I'm, I'm all about supporting uh, small box big games. Uh, big is a little bit of a stretch for this particular game. Maybe small box game uh, <laughs> so for this particular one. Um, but it, it is it is one of those uh, very convenient, like especially since it fits. It's so small, it fits in a box, like it fits in any of my, my bags that I carry. Uh, in a corner somewhere, I can take it to a board game night, kind of play it at the very end of the board game night. Uh, somebody's not really into more, too much into gaming, they want to play something more casual. Uh, they might prefer to play this over other things. I have, I, I, I have encountered, or I do have a friend uh, that's not really into games, but likes to come to board game nights. And for them, this is one of their favorite games to go to because it's not very complicated. Uh, they, they, they don't feel the pressure of games. I, I don't know what it is about them and their particular gaming style, but th this is this is one of their go-tos. This is one of their favorites. So the fact that they feel welcome playing this game is always nice. You know, I know if I want them to come to the table, I can break this out and they're like, oh, I want to join in. It's like, cool, come on, join the fun. Because board games are all about spreading the fun and joy or something like that. Or, you know, if you're playing a competitive game, I guess spreading the competition and and not joy, whatever the opposite of joy is. Put that there. Uh, yeah. Oh no. Ah, that's unfortunate. Ooh, that's double unfortunate. Ah, shoot. Well, I guess I'll just go with it. As I said, the rule book says, take a deep breath and relax. You have come to the lake, hoping to see. Uh, hoping to see. Bring your friend. Yeah. Oh, hoping to see, uh, get comfortable and now begin, keep growing, or keep going, keep growing, keep blossoming, uh, until it ends, bring a friend. There you go. That's, that's the phrasing we'll do for this video. Uh, also, depending on what kind of gamer you are, this game could be kind of stressful. I can definitely see this game being a little bit stressful because this kind of has a situation of, you know, a cat chasing a, a ballpoint laser where if the cat can't capture or cannot capture the laser then it might cause them a lot more stress than humans might think i don't have cats i just know people who have cats and they've told me that so i assume it's true they're more the authority on cats than i am so i'll take the word for i'll take that word at face value uh in this situation though that could be a problem for some people who want to play the game because if you're trying to play to win like i said before you're gonna have a bad time um i as somebody who enjoys games like uh like Final Girl, <laughs> which I've talked about and I've added a video on, uh, to where basically if you come to this game saying, I'm going to win this game, you're going to have not that great of a time uh, because the game is very much based on dice. Uh, not so much as Escape from the Dark Sector, which I'll do a video on eventually uh, once I kind of wrap my head around a little bit more about the the uh, that game and kind of play it a little bit more. Um, I, I do, I do want to get a little bit better with my playthroughs before I do recording. Um, but it does have that angle of, you know, if you, if you try to come in here trying to win the game, then you're just going to have not the great time. Ooh, I don't want to do that. Oh man, this is all bad. Ah, this is terrible, terrible stuff. All right, I'll do this. So that way I have a little bit more flexibility there. Um, <clears throat> and then also, also sometimes, I mean, I haven't, I haven't had this happen so much. I had it happen exactly one time to where I had a friend who was not necessarily upset, as in like they were vocally angry or mad or anything, but they, they were they were um, they were distraught. Let me say it that way. They were distraught that they never got a match. They felt that they were holding the team back. Uh, to which I replied, 
this is not that serious of a game. We are literally just putting tiles randomly. This game is basically a random number generator <laughs> with tiles. So to take it uh, to that extent might be a little bit extreme. Uh, so definitely not much to worry about. We still like you as a friend, um, I say to them. And I'll put this here because it's a little bit better. There we go. Look, look at us. Look at us making progress. Um, but but that, that's a thing to consider. And, you know, th these are these are very small things that I'm just kind of mentioning since I'm at an extended review slash playthrough of this game. Um, these are just very small things that I, I would never normally consider when playing or picking out board games to play. But they are things that some people do kind of take take to account. Oh, also speaking of which, uh, one of my good friends has another friend who that friend is very bad at math. Um, I, th I think it's like they have um, a situation to where math is not their thing. They, they are aggressively against doing math. If, if they can avoid math, they avoid math. Let's say it that way without giving too much away of their business. Uh, but it's to the point where a game like this will be perfect for them because there's no math like you just kind of put the piece is pattern matching you go with it uh, this game is colorblind friendly too so if that person was colorblind as well that would be great this would be great for them um, but in this situation or in, in their situation oh no oh oh, oh ah, green flower that's green right yeah that's green perfect uh, but in this situation, this game might be good for them because they can kind of sit down and play and enjoy with everybody else. And they don't have to worry about the stress of doing math. Oh, look at that. I got all the pieces. Nice. They don't have to worry about the stress of doing all the math. I mean, I guess at the very end, there's math because I don't have to add up 8 plus 1, so I have 9 points. Um, but in, in total, it's a very peaceful, calming, straightforward game. Um, definitely great to hold or play this game while having conversations because, in my opinion, I well, let me take a step back. In my opinion, this game is only enjoyable when you play it while having conversations. I say that because if you don't do that, then you kind of get into the mindset of trying to win a game. You're trying to focus a little bit too much, um, in my opinion. And this game doesn't need that much focus. Like, the more you focus on this game, the worse experience you have playing this game. And going back to my math friend I was referring to before, this game could be great for them because there's no math required. They can kind of sit and enjoy. This game is very accessible. It's colorblind friendly. Uh, it looks it looks fine. Uh, it's very simple. Tiling mechanisms are always fun because they're very simple, straightforward. You build the game as you go. It might look complicated at the very end. It's like, oh my gosh, what happened? What's going on? Uh, but you kind of make this picture at the end. And if, remember, we started with just this one center tile and then we built off from there. And uh, ultimately we got nine points, which is cool. One point for each placed, uh, placed disc, which is eight of them. And then plus one for each tile left. We have one left. So look at us, nine points. We did great. All while doing a review slash commentary slash playthrough. Um, I, think, I think I'll just chalk this up to a review because like I said, it's very simple, straightforward. Uh, yeah, that said, uh, yes, this game is very fun uh, when you have kind of an end of the game, board game night situation or maybe just a very casual situation very good conversational game very uh, approachable very accessible which i think accessibility is maybe not talked about enough in board gaming world i, I guess it's being talked about a little bit more than other places because colorblind colorblind uh, folks who do enjoy board games uh they are uh that, that that's focused on a lot more uh there's another board game i think is a, a botanic which i talked about previously uh, Botanic has a colorblind friendliness to it because some of the designers of that game, uh, so I've heard from forums, some of the designers of that game are also colorblind, so they included those symbols to help them determine things. So I'm always appreciative when there's colorblind friendliness, when there's approachability to a game. This game doesn't have too many rules. Uh, it doesn't really need you to do too much math. It has this whole message about, you know, let me, let me go back here. It says, uh, I think this is the first page. Yeah. You have come to the lake. Take a deep breath and relax. Uh, hoping to see. Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be hoping to see. Get comfortable. Now begin. Keep grow or keep going. Keep growing. Keep blossoming. Uh, until it ends. Bring a friend. Just just some kind of some kind of cool cool stuff going. You know, it's, it's like it's like a very simple Zen like game. I, I can see this being like part of people's daily routine. You know, wake up in the morning, play this game. Put it on a coffee table when you have guests coming over kind of bring the game out and kind of play on your little table while you talk about while you talk about life and catch up with things talk about the stocks if you do the money things <laughs> anyway all right i'm rambling uh so that's gonna be it for the video i don't want to go over 20 minutes so i got 10 seconds to close out 
So thank you all very much for watching. Let me know what you think about the game in the description. Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed this game a lot, but as always, I will see you all whenever.